we're gonna do another change on uh, my Lexus GX470 and I got uh, 5W30 synthetic oil in here and my oil filter and gasket and my tool to um, unscrew the underbill. Uh, down under the uh, Lexus GX470 and the uh, oil pan is here on this hole. I think that's probably a uh, number 13 bolt. Then we're gonna remove this uh, uh, bill pan first, and uh, I think once that's out, I think there's like one screw over here, another one over here, and then there's two at the front. The middle is, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened on this one, but it's like 10 mm bolts over here. And this one, I think, got rusted, the bolts. Uh, they put some uh, self-tapping screw on this one. So I think there's are screws on this side. Yeah, it's one over here. So I got the uh, ender belly removed now. Let me see if I... This one, yeah, look at that. The bolt is uh, busted on this one. I don't know if uh, I could try retapping it today, but I just forget about it because the other one is still okay. So the oil filter is here. That's why I have to remove the the shield or the underbelly pad. Using number 14 bolts, uh, number 14 sack. Take out the drain pan. I mean the drain plug. Okay. There we go. And you could loosen it by hand. like the gasket is missing on this so probably it's still there so yeah we got to check before putting it back and I have to open the, the oil fill cup up there so that it won't go through okay so Make sure that uh, there's no gasket there in the uh, drain in the drain hole uh, before putting the the drain plug. Oh, I forgot to put the the gasket. Oh goodness! And then we try it again. Okay, so got the gasket right here. Try to lose in the oil filter. Oh. Okay. Yep, there you go. There. 
go. Yeah, this comes pre-lubricated with oil, so it's not even necessary actually to do this, but yeah, I'm getting used to that. So I just need to clean the one and then put back the oil filter. So tightening the oil filter by hand, yep, you don't need a tool to tighten this. This is just hand tight. And uh, you can use my uh, paper towel on here so that it will not slip. Yep. Just hand tight. Yeah. Clean the area here. Check if there's leaks. So this is where we fill up the oil. Just uh, remove this by hand and then put it there. And I'm gonna put like probably six quarts. I'm gonna put in like five quarts and then check the oil level down there on the dipstick. We're gonna put in five quarts first. Yeah, sometimes five quarts is uh, enough for this. Since I didn't wait for it for a long time to like completely drain. Okay, now we'll check the oil level here. Stick. Okay, we're still low, so Probably gonna add like uh, one more quart. Yeah. So we got no leaks after uh, filling it up well and then uh, running it for a while. And uh, there's a rust area. There's a hole on my uh, underbelly pan. And usually they hook on the front like this. Yeah, there's one that. And one over here, and there basically it goes into that hole over here. Uh, yep, that one, and then this one. So they just like hang in there. 